Here we go. Mind Lab Assignment 1 for Digital and Collaborative Learning. What does this mean? Is it Facebook? Is it Twitter? Is it working together? Or is it a combination of all these things that I can somehow use in my classroom? Keywords. Identify. Justify. Plan. A digital and collaborative learning innovation which can be applied to a specific area of my classroom practice. For this, I decided to start with a mind map, detailing the areas within my classroom that I felt could be improved upon, the areas which are not working so well at present, areas where the children are not working well together, where the use of key competencies could be developed further, and where I could somehow gain a foothold in the digital world for my students within my class. I decided that I would focus on shared reading. Why? Because at present the students reflect individually. Any discussion of our shared book is superficial and tends to focus on surface features. Also, several students are routinely disengaged. They have poor self-regulation skills and I need a way to gain buy-in from these students. What's my goal? To develop reading engagement and comprehension skills. Our reading assessments show us that children have learnt to read, but they have not yet made the transition to reading to learn. So how am I going to build engagement and comprehension skills? What will I do? I could flip my classroom. I could join New Zealand Read Aloud. Or I could join Chat to Chat. I think that shared reading places students within Vygotsky's zone of proximal development. I think it places them between my knowledge as an expert and their developing knowledge. And so, I asked myself this question, how will a digital enhancement promote literacy development through shared reading? I think it will build engagement, and that's through using an updated delivery style. It will provide a safe learning environment where integrated skills are going to be developed by the students. The learning will be flexible and students will be empowered through collaborative explorations. And it will promote the social aspects of learning, collaboration, social interaction skills, and these will be developed using social media. Amos et al. say that the digital environment is already empowering learners and teachers as it never has before. And so, I looked at the ITL 21st Century Learning Design Rubric for Collaboration. I want my learners to develop collaborative skills, I want them to work together, and I want them to share responsibility for the learning outcomes. If I flip my classroom, students will have some freedom to choose when to learn. Collaborative tasks can be included in the model, but I think for me, Chat to Chat or New Zealand Read Aloud may suit me better and may suit my students better. 
Chat to chat appears to meet my needs well, but my problem here is timing. It runs over our morning tea break on a Friday. So perhaps I can look at New Zealand Read Aloud. I can choose my own timing. It allows the students to work collaboratively, both within our class and with other classes. The students' work is interdependent and they share responsibility for completion and content of the tasks. And so it meets the ITL criteria for collaboration and it works for my program. If I look at John Spencer's graphic which shows the difference between cooperative learning and collaborative learning, I can see New Zealand Read Aloud could be either. And so to push it towards collaborative learning, I'll need to develop tasks that build a shared vision, shared values and a state of interdependence. And so my plan is to participate in New Zealand Read Aloud to build engagement and comprehension in a collaborative and digital environment.